What's going on guys, Bosch here, and I have a very exciting gameplay for you guys today. It is Team Defender on mission, and it is non-stop fucking action while I play with my PP. And my PP is silent, so that people don't see me coming when I play with my PP, and then I can come from behind and put my PP uh, in their butts. So that's enough PP jokes, I'm going to move on to the topic at hand. Um, I wanted to share today some of my favorite games and gaming memories, and I've played a lot of games in my 21 years, uh, 14 years gaming, and nearly 15 now, uh, 14 and a half I guess, and I want to know, actually I really want to know what you guys uh, have enjoyed the most uh, when you guys play games. I play a I like to play a variety of different games, uh, RPGs, shooters. Uh, I'm not too good at the RTS games, like Age of Empires and stuff. I used to cheat on Age of Empires uh, on the PC, get the cars that fired missiles and the dudes that fired nukes and stuff, and just go around on like the hardest levels and just destroy everything. Uh, and then make the super super fast priest and then convert all their stuff to mine, and then I have like a super army. Anyway, my uh, my first game on my list is actually a Call of Duty title, and uh, that would be World War. Uh, World at War. It's a bit of a tongue twister, that one. Uh, yeah, World at War. Definitely what my uh, my favorite Call of Duty. Um, mainly because it was the most fun Call of Duty that I've played. Uh, there was there was okay. Yeah, I, I I will allow the fact that the MP40 was ridiculous and Juggernaut was annoying. When you paired them together, it was like oh, rage. But if you kind of if you stayed away from those people, like you could probably tell by somebody's name who was going to use the MP40 and who wasn't, uh, and you can tell that in current games who's going to be a dick and who's not just by their name. And if you just stayed away and used longer range weapons, uh, you could easily just pick them off and get an easy kill because they can't kill you from very far away. Um, that was my definitely my favorite COD. Um, the, probably the probably the game that I've spent the most time playing like, as a series is probably Halo, and I don't play a lot of Halo on my channel because it's not popular, uh, and there's no there's no one even playing it really anymore. Halo Reach, so it's kind of disappointing because Reach was an alright game. Uh, it doesn't beat uh, Halo Three for online multiplayer though. Uh, that game I sunk I don't even know how much like days or hours. But I played, I think, seven and a half thousand multiplayer matches or something. And a lot of those games last for like 20 minutes. So that's a lot of time. Uh, but that game for me was probably the most perfect multiplayer you can have. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, all my friends that I played Halo 3 with, there was nothing uh, overpowered really in there, was there? I, I mean, rockets were annoying, the shotgun was annoying, but. It wasn't overpowered. If you stayed away from a dude with a shotgun, he couldn't kill you. So, I don't know. I loved Halo 3. I loved the Spartan laser. I had three and a half thousand social Spartan laser kills uh, in Halo 3. I used to get that and get this like 10 kill streaks with Spartan laser and rockets and things like that, just taking out vehicles and big teams. So, epic fun. It's so much, so much action. You got vehicles and fucking everything. It's just so good. And I am super excited because Halo 4 was uh, had kind of its first real trailer uh, today. And the Battle Rifle is back and it looks like it plays a lot like Halo 3 from the 10 seconds of multiplayer footage that we got to see. So I am super excited for this year's gaming, uh, this year's gaming experience because it's going to be probably the best yet and make even more memories. So uh, next one basically is... Uh, Knights of the Old Republic, and I know I'm playing that on my channel, so I don't want to spoil too much, but the first time I ever, like, finished that game and came, came up to the, uh, the story twist at the end, it just blew my fucking mind. It was inconceivable for me that that could happen, and I don't want to give it away because it's so good, and I am playing the, the game on my channel, so when we get to that... Uh, you will just you will see if you watch that uh, let's play that I'm doing. You will see just how like awesome 
uh, that game really is. So I would recommend even if you just go and play it yourself. Uh, you can get it on uh, get it on Steam for ten dollars. Yeah, you can probably get it used on original Xbox uh, for about the same. So definitely play that. Uh, Mass Effect Two is another great RPG that really did resonate uh, with me as one of my favorite games. Basically because a it's a fantastic. Uh, fantastically made game. Voice acting is amazing. Probably the best voice acting I've ever heard in a video game. And uh, the storyline is incredible and it's somewhat realistic. I mean, that could happen. Like, maybe not exactly how Mass Effect uh, portrays it, but we could definitely find, like, other, other beings out there. If we had a discovery of some kind of alien technology hidden in the middle of the earth that allowed us to travel through space, I'm sure we'd find something. Uh, there's bound to be something else out there, we can't be the only thing. And uh, That's pretty much a topic for another time. That's pretty much my favourite games, guys. Uh, this gameplay's wrapped up here, we won. Team Defender is cool, if you haven't played much of it, I'd definitely recommend it. Very high, uh, very fast paced, high action, so check out my Twitter and my Facebook and Thank you for watching, leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next video.